The Bedford Level Initial Reconnaissance, 31st of March, 2019. On Sunday, 31st of March, a trip was taken to the Old Bedford River and Wellney Bridge. The Wellney Bridge is approximately 4.6 meters above the water. Plenty of parking space next to Wellney Bridge. Lamb and Flag Pub Bed and Breakfast. Reeds or no reeds? That was the question. Looking north from Wellney Bridge. Looking south from Wellney Bridge. No significant reed growth present. Evidence that the reeds have been cut down. We observed the northern and southern sections of the Old Bedford River from Wellney Bridge. 19.38 kilometers or 12 miles. Looking south from Wellney Bridge, the first major landmark observed is the railway bridge near the village of Manea, which is 3.39 miles, 5.46 kilometers from Wellney Bridge. This reed growth combined with the shape of the riverbank is a problem as it is preventing a clear view down the Old Bedford River to Welch's Dam. The blocking reeds of the riverbank prevent the line of sight, so the southern section of the Old Bedford River cannot be used for the observation. Looking north from Wellney Bridge, the first major landmark is Wellney Gate. Looking north from Wellney Bridge to Salter's Load, the furthest that can be seen with the P900 is 5.92 miles or 9.53 kilometers. What is at Salter's Load? Plenty of parking space at Salter's Load. Salter's Load. The bridge at Salter's Load. Salter's Load. Looking north from Wellney Bridge to Salter's Load using the P900. Picture of Salter's Load from the bridge at Salter's Load. It would seem that the P900 can observe Salter's Load Gate at a distance of 5.92 miles, 9.53 kilometers, which is sufficient to carry out the observation. Looking south from Salter's Load Bridge to Wellney Bridge, and Wellney Gate, the furthest that can be seen with the P900 is A straight line of sight can be drawn between Wellney Gate to Salter's Load Gate. The observation can now happen, weather depending. It's simple. Can the intense source of the laser, max 1 meter above the water level, be recorded 9.5 kilometers or 5.9 miles away by a camera max 1 meter above the water level? Yes or no? According to the curve calculator, the intense source of the laser beam positioned one meter above water level will not be observed by a camera 9.5 kilometers, 5.9 miles away, positioned one meter above the water level. Although standard refraction is a pseudoscience reification, we shall use it just as a comparison. Geometric hidden, 2.76 meters, refracted hidden, 2.14 meters. What is the highest permittable elevation of the laser, object, and observer for the observation? According to the curve calculator, the intense source of the laser beam positioned 1.5 meter above the water level will not be observed by a camera 9.5 kilometers, 5.9 miles away, positioned 1.4 meters above the water level. Geometric hidden. 2.06 meters. Refracted hidden, 1.54 meters. Although standard refraction is a pseudoscience reification, we shall use it just as a comparison. Can the laser or a luminous or reflective substance be seen over this 9.5 kilometer, 5.9 mile stretch of water? Mirror reflection observations and others are being planned as well as the lasers. I am disappointed by the number of non-responses from invited people. I was convinced that anyone who doubted our peer-to-peer -peer observation would be delighted to do the Bedford Level Revisited Observation for themselves to ensure that the observation is carried out in a fair and transparent manner. If there is anyone you think would benefit from attending this observation, please feel free to contact them and make them aware of the date and hopefully they will take advantage of this opportunity to take part in this historical and exciting observation. Why wouldn't they? 
13th of April, 2019. 13th of April, 2019. All are welcome. If you wish to come along on 13th of April, 2019, starting early morning, approximately 8.30 a.m., please contact Dr. John D. 1974 at gmail.com.